My name is Chris, though you might recognize my voice from another channel called Stohove, where I do various tutorial videos for Fantasy Grounds Unity. In this collaboration with Smiteworks, I will be walking you through how the character wizard handles leveling up a given character and what things you should look out for when doing so. The Character Wizard was a new feature that was added to Fantasy Grounds Unity shortly after the version was publicly released. However, even when it was added as a feature, it was not set up to handle the process of leveling up a given character when it was time to do so, and was only really there to go through and create characters. The vision was there, and the desire to add the capabilities to the Character Wizard allowed Smiteworks to focus on getting the character creation process working, and then use that to figure out how the leveling process should work. Not that long ago, at the time of this recording anyway, the character wizard was once again polished up a bit, and this time the means to level of given character within the wizard has been added into it, making it a true character wizard, as it allows you to handle both character creation and leveling them up. And while this is an improvement, there are still things that you need to keep an eye on in relation to what happens after the character wizard has modified your character sheet, and we'll cover those as we go. To help us run through this example, I've created a couple of characters, and we're going to start with a level 1 wizard of Owl and Descent, and we'll provide a few examples of some important things to take note of. There is going to be a point in your character's life where the Dungeon Master is now ready to allow your character to advance their level to a specific value. This might be as simple as incrementing your level by 1, or jumping them a few levels to bring them up into alignment with the rest of the party for one reason or another. In either event, there are two ways you can go and process this advancement, with one being the manual way, while the other is to utilize the new character wizard. As we are demonstrating how the character wizard handles level advancement in this video, we will only be covering that option. If, however, you do wish to use the manual method, I have provided a large number of class-specific videos on my own channel that will help you out, and I'll be sure to provide a link to the Fantasy Browns forum post that I used to centralize that list. This way you can find the class you're looking for, and then go from there. Specific to the character wizard, however, there is only one way I know of that you can use in order to access the advancement process while using the character sheet itself. This will require you to go to the class and level panel that is found underneath this magnifying glass. So if you click on this magnifying glass here, you will get this panel. And right here on the right side of that screen is a level up button. As soon as you click on this button, it's going to open up the character wizard and import all of your existing characters information. You will also notice that if you had your character sheet open, if you move this window out of the way, your character sheet has now been closed. And that's because this is going to make some modifications to it and then recreate a new character sheet for you, replacing the existing one. It is also going to start within the class tab, and this is because this is where you're going to advance your character's level by utilizing this up and down arrow here. Generally, you will have an up arrow. You will only get a down arrow if you've actually clicked this and didn't complete the leveling up by hitting this commit button. Depending on the class and level, as soon as I click on this button here, it can trigger a class specialization selection, which you should complete before moving on to any other areas of the process. And in the case of a wizard, you get to choose your class specialization at level two, which is why we got this selection. Generally, it's at character level three, unless you're creating a character and that character requires that specialization right at level one. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select War Magic. As soon as I do that, any new features that are going to be added to our character will pop up on this right hand side of the panel. And in this case, I believe Arcane Deflection and Tactical Wit were added as part of our character sheet, or will be once we commit this. There are a couple of other things to note in relation to this top listing of buttons. So the stats, we don't have to do anything here in this particular case. We will want to drop by the spells panel here and go through and select some additional spells. But in relation to feats, there's nothing that we're going to gain here because we haven't actually added a feat selection as part of our upgrade process. And let's circle back to the spells, as there are a couple of things that I want to point out here. The first is, this is not going to calculate out the number of cantrips or the number of spells that you already have. At this particular point in time, you need to do that on your own. It's easy to do because your existing spells and cantrips will be listed down below here, so you can go through and calculate out how much you have. Because of the intelligence modifier of this particular character, I was able to create this character with six starting spells. And anyone who is familiar with a wizard 
and the leveling process will know that you gain two new spells each time your character is going to level up. And this doesn't take into account any spells you might have found and added to your spellbook over time. As a result, you need to be sure that you understand how many spells your character has in their spellbook before you begin this process. Until this is automatically being calculated out, and I don't know if it will or not to be honest, you will have to handle that yourself. And this isn't unique to just wizards. This is in relation to all spellcaster-based classes. In this particular case, I do have the ability to add two new level 1 spells. And because there is a disconnect going on right now between what's here from your selection versus what you have already selected, you will see some duplicates. As a result, you will want to be sure that any spell you decide to select from this list isn't already down here. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add Detect Magic, as well as Featherfall, in relation to the new spells that I'm going to be listing. And we can see that they're added when I scroll down here to the bottom of the list. These that are innate are simply those that you had prior to you going through this particular upgrade process. Now that I have completed that selection, I can go ahead and commit this change. And what that's going to do is it's going to return your character sheet to your original form with the modifications that typically go through and get modified when you go through and level up a character. I'm going to go ahead and quickly advance this character through level 3 because the next area of demonstration that I need to point something out is in relation to level 4. So just one moment, I'll be right back. So I've advanced this character to level 3, and I'm about to go ahead and advance it to level 4. As soon as I do this in this particular case, I'm going to see my ability score improvement options. Those of you who are familiar with 5th edition know that you can either choose an ability score increase or a feat. If you choose the ability score increase, you can choose one stat to increase it by two points or two stats to increase them each by one point. Or you can go and select a feat, which means you'd be selecting a feature from this panel over here. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and select the ability score increase because I want to show what you have to do. Once I've selected that, you'll have to go to the stats panel. And this is where you're going to make this adjustment. In this particular case, intelligence is our character's key stat. However, wisdom and a couple of others here are also beneficial for a wizard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to initially select intelligence. And if you notice, once I had that one selection, this went from 18 to 20. If, however, I choose to go and add in a second one, so let's say wisdom, for example, this is going to drop down by one point, and this is going to go up by one point. So you have the ability to use an either or option. If you don't choose wisdom in this particular case, your intelligence, if it happened to be the same value that I had there, is going to simply get two points added to it. If you do select two, then each of them are going to gain one, and that's perfectly fine. I still have to go through and choose my spells, which at this particular point in time, However, what I want to do now is go through the process of just selecting two additional spells. I'm going to go with Gust of Wind and Hold Person. So where is that? Hold Person. There we go. Select Feet, clear that option, and then commit that change. Now, my stats have increased, and I just wanted to be sure that you saw that those stats were increased. Any spells that I have selected are automatically being added to our character's action sheet, so you don't have to worry about whether you want to go through and make use of those. However, some of the feats that you gain, you will want to take a look at. In this particular case, our wizard primarily gains spells, not feats. So anything that is actionable will pop up here if it's a feat, but right now we don't have any. Now I'm going to quickly advance this character to level 7 so that we can prepare for what it looks like when you select a feat. So I've advanced our character to level 7, and I am now preparing to go through and level them up to level 8. When we do this, we should get another ASI indicator here, which in this case I'm going to choose Feet. I'm then going to quickly select my spells, which at this point I can now choose level 4 spells. And now I can go ahead and choose a Feet. In this particular case, I'm simply going to choose Warcaster because it's going to fit fairly well with our particular class here. And then I'm going to commit that. Unfortunately, in this case, Warcaster was not added to our Actions tab, even though there are some effects here that we can take advantage of, specifically the advantage on our Constitution saving throw. 
I'm going to go ahead and drop this into place and just call this a feats. And now I'm going to modify this to take things like this into account. We're going to have to find a way to ensure that we restrict this to just concentration checks because it's not going to affect all of our constitution saving throws. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a new effect and then I'm going to copy in a setup that I've already pre-created. Literally, it's called Warcaster, semicolon, ADV, SAV, colon, and then concentration. Fantasy Grounds gives us the ability to ensure that this combination of advantage settings exists. We have to ensure that it is going to exist on our own character, and it isn't going to expire, and there is no duration. And that is because as soon as you take the Warcaster feat, this is a permanent change, which means it doesn't expire. And concentration checks are automatically triggered, so you're going to want to have this on your character as soon as you land inside of the combat tracker in order for those advantage rolls to come through. And there are a couple of other gotchas when you're utilizing the character wizard in order to go through and advance your character. I'm not sure if anybody caught it, but as soon as you commit that change through the character wizard, you might notice something like this. Average hit points for additional wizard level added to and then the name of the character. That's because it's going to use the average roll in addition to your character's constitution bonus in relation to the total number of hit points that your character is going to gain each time you do that. It's not going to automatically roll. I don't know if this is a feature that they're going to add at a later point in time. I had a quick chat in relation to that, but never really got a definitive response as to how SmiteWorks wants to be able to handle that just yet. And that's primarily because of the fact that this character wizard leveling functionality is literally phase one. They haven't gone through and reiterated over top of the ability to go through and level it up to be able to take advantage of all of the other automation benefits that could potentially come down the pipe here. The other gotcha that you'll want to double check on is your abilities. Sometimes, and I caught this when I was looking at this earlier, there are going to be some features that don't get added to your character's action sheet, despite the fact that they actually could be used to create an effect or set up some form of benefit that your character can take advantage of. While I was assured that for the most part, features would be added to the action sheet, it doesn't look like all of them are being added just yet. And that's fair. It's a first pass of this particular feature and the ability to do this inside of the character wizard. So there's still some work to do. If this happens in your case, all you'll have to do is just manually go through the process and setting things up so that it is in place and ready to go. Now, they might call this something different. I'm going to just simply call this the wizard class and then add in all of these benefits here as an effect related to this particular feature. I've gone ahead and set up a quick arcane deflection here. Theoretically, you could combine this into one. I've gone ahead and chosen to set it up as two just for the purposes of clarity. But I'm not going to go through and explain this particular process because I do cover this inside of the original wizard video that I went through and recorded on the base wizard class. Something else that I want to point out that you will want to look for is in relation to those features that grow over the course of your character. So if I go take a look at the barbarian, for example, you can see here that at level nine, they gain a brutal critical feature, but they also gain that at level 13 and at level 17. Unfortunately, when Fantasy Grounds' character wizard goes through and upgrades your Barbarian class character from level 9 through 10, 11, 12, 13, what ends up happening is that the brutal, brutal critical feature ends up having its max stat already configured. And what I mean by that is usually you will have 1d8 of extra damage that you'll be adding to your character. Initially, when it's added, it is actually 3d8. This means you're going to want to ensure you double check that and reduce it to the 1d8 or whatever your damage dice is going to be at the time that you gain this particular feature. When your character turns level 13 and you make use of the character wizard to go through and upgrade this, what's going to happen is, is you're actually going to get a second copy of Brutal Critical added to your character sheet. And the idea is, is that it's going to do its best to ensure that the feature is there. All you have to do is go in and adjust it and tweak it to suit your needs. I have had a conversation with SmiteWorks on how this functionality is going to work, but they haven't come to a complete decision as to how they're going to go through and handle all of the processes of going through and leveling up a character and making sure that all of the features are rewritten 
to handle the correct settings. So expect there to be a period of time where you're going to have to manually manipulate and adjust a few things until they've gone through and finalized those decisions and began the process of implementing them. The advancements that have been made to the character wizard since its introduction is definitely leaps and bounds above where it was when it was first introduced. And this is all thanks to the team that has been providing all of these iterative adjustments as they've gone through and released new versions of Fantasy Grounds Unity. The fact that we can now handle preliminary character level advancements within the wizard and have it do quite a bit of the work in respect to that level advancement is great and I'm happy to see this kind of feature getting the attention it deserves. I want to thank you for watching this video on behalf of Smiteworks and myself, and I also want to thank Smiteworks for providing me with the opportunity to present this information on their channel, and I look forward to continuing with our collaboration. Please click on the like button if you found the information in this video useful to helping you learn how to use Fantasy Grounds Unity, and consider subscribing to the Smiteworks Fantasy Grounds YouTube channel to keep up to date with any new content as it is released. If you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to post them in the comment section of the video below for others to see and contribute to the discussion.